Um, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and praises to the Mosai, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach this truth for many years, right, in sincerity. All the other Akiam across the four corners of the earth also, Shalom. Right, these brother Tazwa from the Trinidad GMS camp. Coming back to do another hopeful edification to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and the of Israel, to the body of Yahweh Shai. Right? Which consists of the Negroes, the Latinos, right? The Hispanics, Caribbean and Iraq, Seminole Indians, right? And the confusion of faces also because hey, a seed could plant in any soil. But guess what? The tree will always bring bring forth what the seed have, right? Which is your father. So your father, right? Your father determines. What nation you come from? Your mother have nothing to do with what nation you come from. So the confusion of faces shall warm to you. The name of this one gonna be knock knock knock. Demons at the door. Right? And I'm going right into it. Right? For you rest this is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 and 13. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness. Right? Of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. I'm starting back again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. If you watch our wrestling match, does go down, right? When you're wrestling in a wrestling ring, it's a fight, mm, a struggle between them two men and a man. is a force clashing against our next force. So the scripture telling you, hey, wrestling not against flesh and blood, but at the end of the day, Spirits just have to deal with that flesh. So is either the spirit come to entice in the form of some type of thing in the flesh? Right? Especially to the men and the truth, we have it harder because we know the things are the spirit. We know these spirits and them outside here. So it's harder for we because every little thing we go know, we go be able to feel the changes in vibration. Right? So we go be on a constant attack because hey, the spiritual entity Satan in performing his duty that the most high set him forth to do, he ain't really have no big need to go after them that he know is not part of the he hopefully like. Right? Yes, normal people outside there who end coming to the truth will go through the little stuff too. But for the main part, the men in the truth who will be going through this, this, this warfare, this wrestling match, right? This MMA, spiritual MMA, because it's a, it's a fight, right? But he coming after we because we know and we could be able to see. But here with the scripture say here, in verse 13, right? And I'll start back from verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Right? And rulers of darkness of this world. This world. Now, if you're taking the scripture and you're applying it to what's going on on the face of the earth. All the rulers of this world is not flesh and blood. But then is man who are ruling the earth. It's because simple. Going back to Job chapter 9. Right? That's why the scripture is meant to be read line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. As a matter of fact, I'll get that first. Isaiah chapter 28. Right? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 28. I'll start from verse 9 and 10. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Not doctrines, a singular doctrine, which is the doctrine of the Most High. Right? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. That is them who know who there is, you know who, who is the Israelites, you know who is Esau, you know who is Ammon, Moab, Elam, you know exactly who he is, you know who your enemies is, you know who all the nation of people is on the face of the earth. You understand what is what is prepared for you, you understand that the man who the ignorantly calling Jesus. Which is Yahweh Shai, who he come to save his people. Pursuant to Luke chapter 1 and 68. That is the milk. You understand these things. You understand that hey, salvation is for the Israelites. Pursuant to the book of 
um, Deuteronomy chapter 23, right? Where the scripture says, Seek neither their prosperity, you understand that the prosperity doctrine is a lie. The scripture says, Seek not the prosperity of any of the other nations all the days of thy life. Because they seek not your prosperity, that they, neither did they meet your forefathers when your forefathers was passing through their land with any likely bread. So which means that it help your shit, they leave you to suffer, your forefathers, which really is you in the, in the, in the past incarnations. Right? So the script, the script, when you understand, right? Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Because line for precept must be upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. That's how the scripture had to be read. Here a little, there a little. Line upon line, line upon line. Precept upon precept. So I'm going now to Job chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. If the score just slay suddenly, he will laugh at the child of the innocent or spiritual innocent, see? Right? You know, these people and them who have either as as, as I like to say, who are the privileged to be even be called the spirit the innocent, the heir to be innocent, see, is the Israelites. Them is the first truth and the most side, them who we will pardon and make to be innocent. Right? So he will laugh at this as at this court as his as his if the score just slay suddenly, right? He will laugh at the child of the innocent. And yeah, because Esau laughing at you right now because you feel he's a, a Trinidadian, an African, and all kind of thing, a Latina. You feel all kind of you is all kind of thing. When he know you is the chosen people, so he laughing at you. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where or who is he? So you see what the scripture telling you. Where or who is he? Who the earth is given into the hand? Because you're, you're confused when the scripture tell you for you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers of rulers of darkness of this world. The world we are living in, Satan, the, the man, the demon, and he angels and them. Who the most I created on the left hand side? He dealing with this world, people in this world. He pumping with, right? Verse thirteen, Ephesians. Chapter 6 verse 13. For take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Right? And having done all to stand. So you see the scripture say you have to do all to stand. Fight with all your might. And then will you fall short in any flesh. Right? The most I will make up too. You will send the angels and them to encamp around you to make up for. But you have to fight with all your might. Right? Stand there for having your loins girded about with truth. Right? And truth is what? Knowing who he is. Knowing, 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 knowing what the scriptures pertain to. Right? Having on the breastplate of righteousness. And where is righteousness? Now we own righteousness. They can't go about to establish your own righteousness pursuant to the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 2 and 3 you have a zeal of God but you don't know why the righteousness are the most high so them demons and them you have no shield that's why people just going more and more mad and they can't understand the things pertaining to the most high Gombo, Sukunya all them spirits and them will never stop pest here right scripture I want to say and your feet should should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So this is the gospel of peace that we're going to come out of this. Right? Not that you want things to get better. Not that you want this world to get better. To do a continue. I watched on Nickelodeon this morning. Right? And the man singing a song and telling his son he's going to turn into a girl. And you have a big LGBTQ stripe hat. This is the world where all you want all you trying to continue living in. So this peace that the men of Great Millstone and whosoever preaching that hey, yeah, was shy coming back to destroy this place, take it down and establish a kingdom in righteousness. Pursuing to the book of 2 Peter. Right? And I'll close out with our scripture. Right? 2 Peter chapter 
chapter 3 verse 13 nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein the righteousness so that way we're looking for we're looking to continue in this fuckery we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth wherein righteousness would dwell and we no longer subjected to the forces of darkness right so until next time shalom you know um until next time shalom